Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show how to extract a data from one website with the help of web scrapping. The data I am going to extract here is the data from this table. I am going to extract these uh, uh, president names from the from this table. It consists of multiple data like date, image as well as the president name. The only thing I need here is the president name from this uh, whole table. Okay, mm, coming to the program. We are using two libraries. The first one is request and the second one is beautiful soup. The request library, basically we are using request library for if you want to access any website means first we need to send one get request to the website in order to access that website. For that sending get request, we are using this request library. The second one beautiful soup. So if you are using any uh, web scrapping means uh, mostly we will use this library so the beautiful soup is designed uh, for web, scra web scrapping application okay that's why I'm using uh, that library here then the first thing URL is equal to uh, inside the double quotes I specified the what URL I'm going to access you can see the URL here I am going to access that URL okay so I specified the URL name inside the double quotes and I stored that in URL variable okay then the next line page is equal to request.get URL as I said earlier uh, before we need before we are going to access that website we need to send one get request to that uh, website for that uh, I am using request.get inside that I specified a URL what it will do means it will send one get request to that this URL okay automatically it will send that uh, get request to this URL okay then after that once we access that uh, URL uh, we are going to use this line soup is equal to beautiful soup page dot content HTML parser so here what I am doing is I am creating one beautiful soup object and inside that I am pausing two parameters the first one is page dot content uh, basically what it will do means once we access that website uh, we need the HTML code for that uh, web page for that I am using this page dot content the page dot content will extract the HTML code of the current web page okay then the next time using HTML dot parser uh, basically beautiful soup consists of multiple parser libraries For example lxml and html file lib and html.parser the most preferable is html.parser because it's very easy okay that's why i'm using html parser here okay and also you can use lxml but the syntax will differ okay that's all then the next line before going to next line uh, we need to understand that the web page okay so what we are going to do is we need to access this data right before we need to access this we need to access this table without accessing this table we can't access this data right so first we need to access this table for that we need to know the basic structure of this web page for that go to click control shift i or else you can use manual setting go to setting here more tools here go to the developer tools then you will get the developer screen here okay first uh, i need to get this whole table okay i need to find uh, this whole table okay by yeah here it is uh, by using this class name i can access this whole table right see by clicking this the whole table is selected you can see this okay so the data the it consists of one table tag and the class name is wiki table okay we need to specify these two in this program and one more thing if the website consists of multiple table means the table tag will be same and the class name will be different example uh, the first uh, table name class name is a wiki table means mostly the second table class will be different class name okay so give the correct class name in order to access the exact table okay then i'm going to program see here uh, soup.find it will find that uh, 
the table tag and the class name okay which means it is accessing the table okay for that i'm using find so inside that you need to specify the tag name as well as the class name okay so you can see the tag name as table and the class name as wiki table that's all then i am using here for one for loop the reason is it consists of multiple president names right so you can see here so what i am going to do is i am going to iterate each and every time i am uh, after iterating i am going to extract this data okay that's all for that i am using for loop so in first law for loop you can see uh, i am using find all inside that i am using b tag why i am using b tag is you can inspect this data so after inspecting this you can see that uh, the data is present inside that a tag right so this is the a tag inside that it will it consists the required data right okay so before accessing this a tag we need to access this b tag okay without accessing this b tag we can't access this a tag okay so first we need to access this b tag and one more thing even this president name consists of the same style first we need to access a b b tag then only we can access the a tag okay and it is same for all the president name okay so we need to access multiple b tags for that i am using find all okay so that's all then after that once we access that uh, b tag means we need to access the a tag next right so you can see uh, in each b tag it has only one a tag it doesn't have multiple a tags you can see in program uh, i am using find here the reason is uh, inside that b tag it has only one a tag okay for that only i am using find not find all okay after that i specified a okay that's all then after uh, giving this line it will access this this line okay then what we need to do is we need to access this title tag then we need to extract this text right so for that what we are using is you can see the line here what we are using is name dot get text uh, basically dot get text function will extract the text from the particular tag so you need to specify the tag inside the bracket so it will extract the text from the particular tag so we want to extract the text from title tag the reason is uh, the data is present inside the title tag that's why i am using a title inside here okay that's all once uh, you run this line means it will extract the john adams and george washington okay and here i am using one if condition the reason is here uh, at the end of the web page uh, end of the table you can see one empty row okay this is the empty row in order to avoid this empty row i am using this if, if if else not if else it is a if condition okay so here i specified none uh, the reason why i specified none means there is no data none data okay so if there is no data in any row means it will skip that row for that skipping we are using continue it will skip it will not print that data okay that's all i am going to run this program you can see it will extract all the president name from george washington to donald trump you can see it end with uh, donald trump and it start with george washington so that data is exactly correct okay that's all and i will show one more thing okay i will remove these two lines and i will show the output and what error we are getting you can see that okay see at the end we are getting one error called uh, there is no text in the last column uh, the reason is that is empty column right to avoid that only i gave that if condition okay if you are giving that if condition means there is no problem it will extract all the data and there is no error in the program okay that's all
and this is the basic uh, web scrapping about how to extract the data from wikipedia table if you have any doubt means please let me know in a comment section and also you can directly contact me through falconinformatic at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching